Aristotle said, anybody can become angry. That is easy. But to be angry with the right person and to the right degree and at the right time and for the right purpose and in the right way, that is not within everybody's power. That is not easy. All right, friends, welcome to Thoughts on Thursday. So I thought I was dealing with everything, you know, back from a little while ago when I mentioned my feelings got hurt. And I was living in the present. I was meditating, doing my yoga, trying not to think, take things personal, knowing that when people are mean, it has usually nothing to do with me and everything to do with their life. But it was still bugging me. I woke up this morning and I was feeling angry. So much anger inside of me. And I realize that all of my life, maybe not all my life, but in the, particularly in the last couple of years, I've had a few experiences where I have an idea and I move forward with that idea and, or I share an opinion. And sometimes my opinions are divergent opinions. I, I don't always agree with what the popular opinion is, and I'm confident enough to share that. And it's not always well received. And I'm excited. I have a lot of energy. I like to keep busy and do lots of work. And like I said, that's not always well received. I have been called aggressive. I have been told I'm intimidating. And it doesn't feel good. It feels awful. And I wonder, because I'm not, I'm not aggressive. I'm not intimidating. I'm honest. I'm open. And I'm confident. And some people do not know how to take that. I have put myself into these situations. And I think if I was a man, would have that person called me aggressive? No. When you're sitting in a chair and sharing a divergent viewpoint without yelling, that's not aggressive. And I think, and maybe I'm wrong, but I think a lot of women in any kind of leadership position or they're assertive in their friendships, uh, I think a lot of times women are called these names. And it's not okay. So I was angry this morning. I had my feelings hurt a couple weeks ago or a week ago. I can't even remember. But I've been stewing on it, obviously. I thought I was dealing with it. Didn't. And then I came across an Instagram reel of all things. Instagram. And it's just random people like you and me put this together. And I don't know who the author of this is, but it spoke to my soul. I felt like this is who I am. And this is a message that just spoke to my soul. So I'm going to share it with you. And you've probably heard it because it's a very popular reel. I say this with love because I have realized some truths. I am not intimidating. You are intimidated. There's a difference. I don't take up too much space. You're just used to people playing small. My inner light is not too bright. You're just used to dimming your own. I am not mean nor aggressive. I am honest and assertive. And that makes you uncomfortable. I do not make you uncomfortable. My presence challenges your comfort and all of that is yours. I will not be less for you to feel better about yourself. Own your stuff. I read that and I it's popular for a reason. People have spoke that for a reason because there are a lot of strong, confident women who feel the same. 
And it is not okay when people try to dim your light. It is not okay when people call you names because of who knows why. That's their stuff. I love that. Having been called aggressive before, I wasn't aggressive. I was honest and assertive. And that made someone uncomfortable. That's not on me. And I think I carried that for a very long time. And as I get healthy, mentally healthy, it has an incredible effect on my body, on my mental health, on my emotional health, on my spiritual health. And even when I'm doing really well, I will have these moments where I check in and boom, I called my parents this morning and I said, oh, I'm feeling angry. And my mom was like, we can tell. This helped. It is not me. (laughs) It is not me. And that's a beautiful feeling and realization to come to, to. I can keep being me. I can keep being my authentic self. My let my ideas shine and be honest and assertive and keep being who I am. And that is so powerful emotionally. Instead of feeling sad and sorry for myself that people are uncomfortable with my honesty, that I have to come home and grab a bag of chips and a chocolate bar and make myself feel better about myself and then feel worse about myself. Now I can work through this. And it was hard because, you know, I had my feelings hurt. My instant reflex was go and eat the junk food. The more we become aware of our mental health and our emotional health and how that impacts us, the better prepared we are to deal with our physical health, our nutritional health, our fitness health. It is a holistic approach. If you're not taking care of your mental health, if you're not getting good sleep at night, it is all connected. If you want to be healthy, truly healthy, you got to take care of all parts. You need to work on your resiliency in all areas. And so do I. And I needed to keep working on my emotional resiliency. And I am so grateful that I came across that reel on Instagram today because, man, she spoke it. And I was like, oh, oh, yes, that's it. So that's my thoughts on Thursday. Become aware of your mental state. What's impacting you? And whatever it takes, try not to let those others bring you down. It's not their life. They're not going to be living with you for the rest of your life. The only person who's going to live with you for the rest of your life is you. So you love yourself and you take care of your emotional health. And if people aren't treating you right, they are not the right people for you. Find better people. And they're out there. There are so many good people in this world. And now I'm not angry anymore. I'm in love with who I am, my assertive, shiny person. And I'm just going to keep being me. And it feels good. And you know, there'll probably be another bump in the road. And then I'll come back and I'll watch this vlog or I'll journal and I'll work through it. But uh, I love this healthy journey. I love taking care of the mental health and the emotional health and the physical health and the spiritual health. It is all connected, my friends. And on that note, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you again on Monday. Take care, brush your hair. And I don't know what Mitch is gonna say. So, see you on Monday. Just started my walk home, but I'm taking a very indirect route today. I was in a truck all day, so I only got about 3,000 steps so far. And uh, I need more than that. So I'm gonna try and walk at least 5K right now. This morning I was listening to the audiobook You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. And I only got about halfway through it this morning. I'll finish the rest tomorrow. But uh, the major takeaway I get from what I've listened to is if you think negative thoughts about yourself, the I can'ts or I'm nots, You're putting that out into the universe and that's what you're going to get back. Is uh, if you put out negativity, you're going to get negativity back. So it's, 
she talks about positive affirmations and firsthand experience. I know they work, they help. And it's not just doing it once, it's consistent. Carlin and I watched season eight of the television series Alone. If you don't know what it is, it's a survival show where they send eight people out to uh, off on their own. They get 10 survival items of their choice and they have to try and survive for as long as they can. But there was one guy this season, he, uh, something he said really resonated with me. Set uh, some fishing lines out on the lake, didn't catch anything. He had uh, snare traps set up along game trails, couldn't catch anything. And he was getting down on himself, just saying he's just, he's constantly failing. He's just a failure. And then it just dawned on him and he, he said it out loud. He's like, wait, I'm not a failure. I've had failures. And that's like, that's just it. If, if something you try doesn't work, you've got two options. You can uh, sit there and be sad, or wallow in the, the defeat you just had. Or you could choose to learn from that. And if you learn, that's no longer a failure, that's a win. So, I mean, in his case, right, he's starving, so right, you can't really call that winning, but, you know, in my case, like, if I try something, it doesn't work out, that means I got to try something else, which means I got to go back to the drawing board, think of something new to try, or whatever the case may be, but, yeah, no one person is a failure, no one is a failure. You might have failures, you might have hiccups, you might have mistakes, but that doesn't matter. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new opportunity to succeed. You just gotta, you gotta seize that opportunity. My hands are getting cold, so I'm gonna put this phone away, put my gloves back on. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you Monday. Oh yeah.